The New York International Auto Show is back on this week for the first time since the pandemic sidelined it. It comes as skyrocketing gas prices are causing concerns for many drivers. Linda Zhang is here with us in Studio 57. She's the chief engineer of the all-electric Ford 150 Lightning pickup truck. It's one of the many vehicles on display this year. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It's really good to see you. Yeah. So we talk about the rising cost of fuel for many American consumers. Um, you were instrumental in creating Ford's first all-electric pickup truck. Um, it's been in the works for some time. Uh, why did the team choose to make the Ford F-150 electric? Well, I think that shows why Ford is so serious about the EVs. Um, we have a very dedicated business for EVs and connectivity. And the way that we've chosen to um, get EVs out to all, all of America is really by taking our iconic vehicles and those those vehicles that our customers already know and have familiarity with, like Mustang and um, Transit and F-150, and electrifying it mm. so that um, it, it, it's an easier transition for the customer. And as we did that, we were also able to take a look at what could you do with these products to redefine them in a way so that we can maximize the, the functionality and the features of the product by really providing our customers with only what EVs can provide. So for example, um, we have you know, this giant battery at the bottom of the vehicle, but it's great because now as we think about it, we can use this as a backup generator for our customers, whether it's to back up their homes for emergency mm. um, you know, power outages or you know, really, you can think of it almost as um, a power generator on wheels mm -hmm. where you can use it for campsites, work sites, or anywhere um, in terms of plugging things in. Wow. So really leveraging and harnessing that electricity that's in this vehicle. But the EPA is going to be allowing the sale of uh, gas with 15% uh, ethanol blend this summer. Uh, normally, this is not a gas that's sold this summer because they're concerned, there is a concern about smog and, and, and pollution and that sort of thing. Um, I'm asking you, what do you make of the move? And do you think that we will see more people sort of looking at electric vehicles because of the price of gas? Yeah, so mm -hmm. e, uh, E15 is something that uh, Ford vehicles are, are able to accommodate. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, aside from that, there's lots of options at Ford, and that's what we're trying to give our customers. Yeah. So in addition to just gas vehicles, we also have hybrids. Hybrids are actually a great choice for some. Um, the F-150 hybrid is, um, it is 24 miles per gallon, mm -hmm. and uh, the um, Maverick truck is 42 miles per gallon. Mm -hmm. So it's really great. And then aside from that, as we've been talking about, there's a lot of EV options as well, and those don't require any gas. Well, I mean, I will say the truck looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, cool. if that counts for anything, that is one <laughs> cool-looking truck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Linda Zhang, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having me.